Hi guys, it's Teacher Tana and welcome to my online classroom. Now, if you've been a subscriber with me before or you've watched my previous videos, you know that that sounds a little bit different than what I would normally say. Normally, I would welcome you to my VIP Kid classroom. And I still want to be a resource for you if you're interested in the VIP Kid journey. Feel free to use my referral code here and email me at hiteacher.tana at gmail.com so I can send you some one-on-one -on -one resources that will get you hired fast. However, today's video is a little bit bigger than my VIP Kid world that I love so much. Today's video is for my teachers who have been used to being in a physical classroom with students and are now having to move into the online world due to the coronavirus. Today, I really want to share my expertise in this area. I have been really lucky to not only work in a physical brick and mortar classroom for the last 11 years, but for the past three years, I have been working for VIP Kid, and I've also been teaching online as an adjunct professor for a university. So I've really gotten used to the online environment and what that looks like. I've also been flipping my classroom for the last year. So this means that students have been watching videos that I create along with guided notes. Then they bring that to class and we do the hands-on um, homework part of the work together in class. So this has been a great journey for me and has also helped me see how to move some of the things that I've done in my physical classroom into the online world. So if you're moving now from the physical classroom into the online classroom, I'm sure you've got lots of questions. And one of the questions that I've been getting the most is what video recording or sharing resource should I use? And let me tell you, there are a ton out there, but I'm sure most of you don't want to pay any money for them. And you also don't have any time Time to relearn all this new uh, software um, in order to create these videos on top of the fact that you need to have time to make these videos, right? So I'm hoping to share with you today one that I found really simple and I feel like you can make a video within minutes and share it with your students today. So the resource that I want to talk about is Screencastify. Now my school is a Google school, so I was definitely looking for a tool that would be easily integrated into Google Classroom. And if you haven't already created a Google Classroom for your online new teaching world, I would suggest doing so. So the great part about it being easily integrated into Google Classroom is that I can actually add it as an extension. And that's what I would suggest. Go ahead and add it as an extension. And then for just this limited time because of the coronavirus, you can actually use this code, right here, and you are, have access to its premium features for free. I know, really, it's great news. So it's free, guys, and it's also super user-friendly. So once you've opened it up, you can see that you've got a couple different options. You can actually record the browser tab. You can record your entire desktop, if you prefer, or you can record your webcam only. It also has a section where you can embed your webcam, and this is one of my favorite features. I actually prefer to record a tab where I have my slides presentation, and then I embed my little mini webcam within it so that students can see me as I'm talking through the slides and uh, referring to different things within the slides. Um, if you are not comfortable using the little mini webcam, you could get rid of that and just record your tab, and now you can narrate with your microphone, which I think is amazing. Another important feature is you can record offline. Let's say something happens, you can record offline and share it, and then as soon as the internet's back up or you have access to internet, you can upload it to share with your students. Really, Another really cool feature with Screencastify is you can use the mouse to spotlight things on the screen. There's a drawing pen tool and you can also click and highlight information as you narrate. And then I think the final and most important thing is that you can share all this information or all these new videos that you've created in a flash. So the recordings automatically save to Google Drive and you can instantly share them using a Google Drive link. You can also directly upload it to YouTube if you have a YouTube channel or refer to work in that way. And a couple other things, you can export it as an MP4, an animated GIF, or an MP3. Is it GIF or GIF? I don't know, I'm probably butchering that. But either way, you can share it so fast with your students. Okay guys, that's really all I've got today. I just really wanted to put out some information there and kind of reduce your anxiety of creating these videos for your students. I will suggest that you, the very first video that you create for your students actually 
um, includes your face in it. And I know that can be very intimidating and overwhelming for you, but if you think about what your students are going through right now, they are a little overwhelmed. They are a little insecure in what's going on. And I think a quick little one minute, hi, welcome to our class, will really just change that and make them feel more at home. I'll probably actually link or create my own version of that and put it up here to give you guys an example of what you can do for your students. Look for that in my comment section below. Okay, guys, I hope you found this information useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. My plan is to create more of these videos in order to help you get from the physical classroom into the online world as quickly as possible. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I would love to get back to you and be a resource for you during this crazy time. Okay, guys, that's all I've got for you today. See you on the internet.